welcome back to snippet coder and we are back with another video and this is the fifth video of our news application series and in this video we are going to design our news detail page using getx so this is our news detail page and this is all the data coming from the wordpress using getx so before starting the video if you are new to our channel subscribe the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos thank you So this is the API which we are going to use in this uh, news detail page and that endpoint is post detail and we are sending here parameter of ID and here the ID number of that post ID and here the data we are getting from that API you can see here we have that ID that is post ID then we have that post date then we have that title then we have that category name then we have that image url then we have that post content that is html content which we are getting from our wordpress api so this post detail api which we have already covered in our video two video number two that is wordpress a custom api video so if you have not watched that video you can watch that video and you can understand how we can create a custom api in wordpress so now let's jump to that code part So first of all we will modify our api service class and here we will create one new method to fetch our post details static future and here we are returning news model so we are returning here one object that's why we are not using here list then we have name of that method that is fetch post detail and parameter we are passing here in type of post id and here we have that variable that is response is equal to await client dot get we are doing here get request and then we have that config dot api url plus config dot post detail url and then we are passing here post id dot to string so in that post detail url we are already passing here post detail slash id is equal to and we will make it as an async method then here we will check if response dot status code is equal to 200 then we will pass it where json string is equal to response dot body and here we will return post detail from json and here we will pass json string so this method we have already created in our model file so what we are doing here we are returning here news model and we are mapping it from from json and we are passing here and we are decoding here that string which is coming from this parameter and here we will return null so now we will create our controller file and we will name it as a post underscore detail underscore controller dot dot file class post detail controller and we will extend it with getx controller then here we will create two variables first one is is loading is equal to true and we will make it as a observable and we will put here obs then we will have where post model is equal to news model dot obs so this is the model we will return from our api then we will have future type of white and we will name it this method as a fetch post detail in type of post id we are passing here and we will make it as a async here and we will put here try and finally inside that finally we will put here is loading false and here we will have is loading true and we will tell our application that we are going to do api hit and so before that we will make that loading true so that progress indicator will be shown in the screen then we will have a variable of post detail is equal to await api service dot fetch post detail and here we are passing post id then we will check here if post detail is not of null then we will put here post model dot 
value is equal to post retain so here we are doing a signing of our post model that is coming from the api with our this variable that is post model and here that the important part is we have to put here value so that this value will be updated in this post model so now we will do the modification in our news detail page here we will define our controller and we have the variable post detail controller news detail controller is equal to cat dot put post detail controller and here we have to create one visit here so that we can use this uh, image from our api and the visit name is background image and here we will return obx and here we will check if news detail controller dot is loading dot value then we will show here center visit child and here we will show circular progress indicator else we will return here image dot network and here we are passing here news detail controller dot post model dot value dot image url and for the fit we are using here box fit dot cover and here we will comment this code and here we will have flexible space and we are returning here flexible space bar and here we have that background and here we will pass background image and here we will call our fetch post detail method from that uh, controller and here we will pass future dot delayed duration we are using as zero then we have that async and here we will use await news detail controller dot fetch post detail and here we will pass cat dot argument and this argument we will send from our uh, news uh, listing and here we will modify our visit file news cart visit and here instead of using navigator dot push we will use our cat dot to to navigate from one page to another page and with just two keywords we will uh, able to navigate from one screen to another screen so here we will put cat dot to and here we have to pass our screen name that is news detail and here we are passing our arguments and we are passing here model dot id so now here you can compare uh, that default navigator there we have to do a lot of code there for navigate from one page to another page and with the help of catx we have to do only two keywords we are able to navigate from one screen to another screen so here we are getting model.id and we are consuming that id here that cat dot arguments so here what we are doing we have put that future delayed so once that wizard is loaded then this our fetch post detail will be called now we have to do small modification and here in the main dot dot file instead of using that material app we have to use here get material app now we can able to use our that get to and we are able to use that argument also now let's run the application so here if we click on any of that uh, news and if i click on the first news you can see here that load is loading loading and the image is coming from the server in the same way if i click on another news you can see here load is loading and image is coming from the server and the rest of the part is hard coded and we will do it so now let's jump to the code part and do the rest of the part to get all the data from that api so here in the row number one we have to pick this category id from our model and we will put here news detail controller dot post model dot value dot category name and here this title also we have to pick from our 
controller news detail controller dot post model dot value dot title and date also news detail controller dot post model dot value dot date so now we will also modify this silver fill remaining area also and we will fetch all the data from using that obx here we will have obx and here we will check if news controller news detail controller dot post dot is loading dot value then we will return here center visit of child circular progress indicator else and here we will return news detail section so now we will run the application to see the changes so now if i click on the first news you can see here as loader is loaded and we are getting the data we are getting a category name we are getting a date then we are getting a title so if i go to the next news you can see here that's that data is coming now but with the different details same for another also and here we are getting the different title then we are getting date then we have that image now we will do our last step in this video for that getting the data from the server for that html content so here instead of picking from our hard-coded data we will pick from our controller we will have news detail controller dot post model dot value dot post content and here you can see all that html data is coming from the server and properly render in the ui so i hope you like the video in this video we have covered that news detail page in the next video we will cover our functionality of dark mode and bookmark feature by using the storage plugin of that catex so don't forget to subscribe to the channel like comment share i will come back soon with another video thank you